The best part of my job is working with young people. Um, every day is different um, and every day has new challenges, but that working with young people and really helping young people to kind of be the best they can be and also to see them kind of develop their interest in the subject that I love um, and to also give them opportunities that they wouldn't necessarily have uh, to be on the classroom, go into the theatre, exploring the theatre um, in practice is something that I get a lot of enjoyment from. Um, so I basically left university, was unsure what I wanted to do um, so I kind of did some jobs, I worked in a bank, I worked in a call centre, I worked in bars and then kind of I started, I had the opportunity to work, um, delivering workshops, drama workshops with my friend, run like a sort of performing arts centre. And so I really kind of enjoyed that. It was a subject I'd say, I'd say I've always loved and enjoyed. Um, and so I found that I kind of did that quite well. I thought this is actually something I'm really good at, but something I'm really enjoying. Um, so that's when I looked into to teaching. Um, and again, I had the opportunity to then work in a subject area that I really loved. Um, and so I decided to, to give it a try and, and realised that actually it was something that I really enjoyed and something that be quite good at. Do you know what? I think I was chatty. Um, at first I think I was really, really shy. So at first when I was in school, when I was very young, I wouldn't say boots or goose, I was really, really quiet. And then I started to do drama outside of school and that's when I started to build confidence. And then maybe a little bit too much confidence because I think in some lessons the teachers would say that I probably talk a little bit too much. But I did kind of rein it in. Uh, I got really, really focused towards the end, um, leading up to GC GCSEs and um, did really, really well with GCSEs, which allowed me to go to do A-levels and move schools so that I could do drama A-level because my school I went to unfortunately didn't offer it at the time and then just kind of A-levels really flourished and then went on to study drama again at degree level but yeah, I think I was probably a little bit chatty. There have probably been a lot of embarrassing teacher moments but not maybe share all of them but one that actually happened outside the classroom which was mortifying really was I was just walking along through the canteen and minding me in business didn't realise there was a, a little bit of hash brown on the floor. Uh, as I walked, my foot slipped on the hash brown and unfortunately I fell when only did I fall, I landed on top of a student, uh, which I then decided to kind of clamber up his face to sort of try and save myself. Uh, what made it even worse was I had him next, I had to teach him next for a full hour and that was a little bit awkward. If I was a student getting taught by me, I think I'd probably think, especially first thing in the morning, God, he's energetic. And I wish he calmed down a little bit maybe. Uh, because some of my students obviously come in first thing and they're not the most loud when they first walk in and I think I am early first thing in the morning so I think they probably think Paul calm down. I'm really proud of all my students um, and in particular the things that I'm proud about my students is the fact of how much they develop while they're on the course, how much they throw themselves into the course and how much they develop in confidence and ability and one thing that I really think demonstrates that is the fantastic results that we got in the summer. Um, my students really achieved exceptional results and I'm so proud of all of them for doing that.